Today I'm going to show you how to create repeat pattern in Affinity Designer. I post two tutorials like this every week, so please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Alright, today we're going to start with square artboard. This one is 500 times 500 pixels and it's where we're going to design the main part of the pattern. Alright, so let's get started with simple shape tool. I think I'm going to pick this rectangle here, put shape here. Now I can modify the main color of it. You can do it also before you draw the shape as well. Alright, by using move tool I can move and also rescale the shape like this. If you hold command key on your keyboard on your Mac you will be able to duplicate the shape while you're dragging it around. So you don't need to make copy it will copy itself while you're holding command key on your keyboard. This way we can very quickly create multiple duplicates and now we can make some color adjustments. I will copy this one and use it down here. I will need to move this layer up so it's visible. And here we go. We're going to repeat this one. So I'm hitting repeat last action shortcut right now. It's common J on your keyboard. It will repeat last action. In our case, copy and move. Very, very quickly we can create this pattern here. Just small adjustments to be sure it's nicely spaced, equal space. So move it here and up a little bit too high so I can re remove the first one. And now I will delete the first one. Perfect. All right, that's my simple pattern. Let's add one more element here in the center, center of the pattern. Move this up and we are done with the pattern itself. Now we need to we need to set this as a symbol. So to do that, we will need to open a special studio. So view, studio, and symbols. This will open this new pop-up window, floating window. Before you set something as symbol, you need to group that object. So let's select everything and create a new group. Now we can create a symbol from this group. And here's our pattern. Perfect. All right, so we got our pattern done. And now how can we use that? We need to set, set up a second artboard in the same document. So I'm going to create artboard using artboard tool. Insert artboard, when you click it first time, it should change the background color to be much lighter like this. Now we can simply drag to draw new artboard. You can always modify the size of it using the transform box. So you can type exactly what you need. I will try to type full HD size for this one. So this will be full HD like this. All right, so the first artboard is our pattern and the second artboard is kind of your final product, the size you need. Now I just drag and drop the symbol from the symbol studio. I can resize it right now to adjust for new artboard size. And I need to create multiple copies of this symbol. So as I did it before, I hold comment on my keyboard and move it around. This way, instead of moving the object, you will make a duplicate of the object. All right, seems like this is totally manual thing, but just give me a moment. I will show you why we set up this symbol in the first place in a moment. I will just create enough copies to cover my second artboard. That will kind of depends on your output size, whatever you need for your output. So I'm just copying and pasting the same symbol over and over again. And here we are. We can even select all to make some final adjustment here. You can still scale them up and down. 
I can make them smaller and larger. All right, maybe like this. Can get rid of unnecessary symbols on the right side and I'm done. So I got this artboard on the right side when my pattern is shown and the pattern design on the left. So if I like this one, I can simply export my second artboard as JPEG or PNG to use it later in my projects as I plan. So I can do file and export and we can select any format from here and export the second artboard. So why did we set up this symbol in the first place, you may ask? We just copy and paste it, right, manually. No, 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 take a look right now. If I make any changes here in this first artboard inside the symbol, so I double click on that to open the symbol group. If I make any change inside the symbol, I don't need to set up everything from beginning because the symbols on the right on the big artboard are responding to all changes. So we kind of set up our some kind of like workspace for ourselves that we can use for multiple projects from many different patterns. So I can totally change this pattern now on artboard number one and everything on artboard number two will be updated live. So I don't need to set it up again and again. Maybe if you need to change the size of artboard two for different purpose, maybe you need vertical one or square one, then you need to make some adjustments. But in case of using same size like now, I don't need to touch the artboard 2 any longer. Just make all of my changes in artboard 1 and everything will be updated. All right, so let's just make some sample changes so you will see what I'm talking about. I'm modifying this first artboard and as you can see, it's changing all the time on the artboard 2. All right, now we already know how to design and create new patterns in Affinity Designer. Then you can simply export them as big bitmaps. But how can we use patterns inside Affinity Designer itself if you want to, for example, fill a shape with your, your own pattern? All right, so I'm going to show you that next. If you got shape like circle or any other irregular shape that you draw yourself using, for example, pen tool like this, it will be really hard to fill it with pattern using the previous method, the symbol method. But we can fill it with pattern using the gradient tool. So take a look. If you select your original pattern first, the first artboard, you can export that as PNG, as bitmap. All right, so we can save the original design, the pattern itself on our hard drive as separate bitmap. That's the step one. Then select the shape, pick gradient tool. And there are many ways how we can fill this with colors, but there's also bitmap at the very end of the list. And you click on bitmap, you will be able to select any image from your hard drive. In our case, we pick the pattern we just saved. And here it is. Now I can adjust the size and angle by pulling this white control circle. You can hold shift if you want to lock it in 90 degrees. And here it is. We fill the circle with our own pattern. We can also modify the way how pattern will act, but in our case, the first one is the one we need. And it will be exactly the same thing for very, very organic shape here that we draw ourselves. Again, gradient tool, change 
on the drop down list to bitmap select your bitmap from the computer and here it is all right so if you want to use your own pattern within the program within affinity designer you need to first save it as png and then you can load it using gradient tool all right guys that's enough for today enough about patterns i hope you enjoyed this tutorial it's helpful for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like button maybe even share this with your friends so they can discover this great vector software and i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye